All right, it's like I always say, guys. There are red ships and there are blue ships. There are even sushi ships. But the best ships are friendships. And so shout out to Art from Gringo Nation for giving me the greatest pair of sunglasses <laughs> ever received in my life. Art thought a guy like me would love a gift like this and he was absolutely right. Oh, so it's a so it's official now, yeah? Oh, it's official. Locked yeah. in. Locked in. Uh, I'm not convinced I can wear this for the whole video because it's really hard to see. But super glad to show my Palmeiras pride wow. with a ridiculous pair of goggles. Now, when Art gave me this gift, Ivana, Art and I were in a place called Liberdaji, which is known as the Japanese village in Sao Paulo. We had a great time with him. It was sushi o'clock. We had a really nice Japanese sushi meal and we had what I would say is the greatest cup of coffee I've ever had in my life. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, the quality is unbelievable! I love Art's eyebrow and the pose he's doing. And I kind of like mine because it looks like I'm bursting out of the cup. It looks like I'm vertically coming out. And check it out guys, what's amazing is you can jiggle them and the faces jiggle. Oh, look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. oh I cannot drink my own hair. Drink your face, drink your face. I can't drink Steve's hair. No! Drink the lips, drink the lips. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, now her whole nose is pulled down. <laughs> but the coffee is actually good, eh? Alright, look at Yo, let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. Just be sincere about it. The best coffee we ever had in the whole world. 100%. Look at him, look at him on his eyebrows. Did you know what's your face? Is that your eyes? Is that my eyes? Oh, is that going Those are your two eyes and yeah. your two eyebrows. I look even more Asian. Like angry, like angry. <laughs> angry Asian. Oh, yeah. Who went bald? Like You're yeah, the angry nice. bald Asian. <laughs> We had a great time with Art, but today is Saturday and there is a huge, super massive Japanese market. Um, we've been walking around for an hour or so, really excited for today. Lots of really nice vendors, lots of people around, and we just visited the Japanese Immigration right. to Brazil Museum. So we've got lots of information to give you guys, as well as a highly visual and exciting vlog. Although, first things first, I think it's time for some Japanese street food, some eats, yes. some sort of munchies where we can uh, I'm hungry. enjoy some Japanese food. I'm wondering food. if there is street food sushi. Street wow. food sushi. Let's see. Who knows? Let's go. The food hunt begins. <laughs> Pikachu! I choose you, Pikachu! <laughs> it wouldn't be Japan Town if there wasn't a Pokemon. Come on. That's true. <laughs> Holy jumping, this is awesome! Yo, there's people everywhere. They're looking Brazilian, they're looking Japanese. What's the combination of Brazilian and Japanese? They're looking Bra Brapanese. Brapanese, that's right. Japillion or something. Yeah, yeah. Japzillion. Japzillion. <laughs> Mostly Japanese food. Mostly well, Japanese food. Some Brazilian as well. Getting hungry, man. Let's eat. Oh, this is the thing we saw in Japan. Like a Japanese pancake. Japanese pancake. All right, let's eat. I'm hungry. Uh, what's this, Ivana? It's called hot roll. Sushi. Like, it is sushi. Uh, sushi, yes. Sushi, but it's fried on the outside. This is the Brazilian style. It's very popular here. <laughs> Brazilian Ooh. style sushi. Yeah. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if there's any fish or anything inside. Veggie? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, fish. Oh, is maybe fish? not. Maybe it is. Let's I tell you what, put it in your mouth and you'll know. Hmm. 
I mean, looks good for for ten real. Interesting. <laughs> Fish or no? Mm, I don't think so. Mm, a little bit. A little bit of fish. Yeah. It's Salmon. like it's like sushi with uh, almost like fried on the outside. Mm -hmm. Fried sushi. Oh, it was a roll. It was actually a roll, and they sliced it. Yeah, hot now roll. I got it. And you see the uh, seaweed wrap. Seaweed wrap, and then mm -hmm. they breaded it and fried it. Mm -hmm. It's a breaded and fried sushi roll. Yeah, this is definitely is made uh, for Brazilian taste. Brazilian mm -hmm. taste. Yeah. It's a but fusion of flavors. Plenty of food here. I'm looking for one of those bowls I saw full of noodles. <laughs> I see one. everybody eating them. Yeah. Let's keep hunting. Let's keep hunting. Just got myself a carne grande. Uh, Japanese so sauce. Japanese sauce. Have a policy try, okay? You're yeah. Japanese. I am Brazilian. Brazilian. My, my father is Japanese. Ah, uh, very nice. I, I'm born in Brazil. Born in Brazil. Very nice. Speak, speak Japanese, speak uh, English, speak Portuguese. Uh, English is the worst one of the three. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Uh, and make sure you put the some Japanese put this. sauce. Don't be afraid of the sauce. So evidently I got the chicken and beef combo by accident. Although I will say, shout out to that guy for saying I'm Brazilian. I like that. Kind of proud. He said, "I said, Are you Japanese? I'm Brazilian. I like yeah, that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice thing. Look at this, though. Oh, with some Japanese sauce on top. What is the Japanese sauce? I don't know. Is it good? This is actually so good. This is actually really good food. It looks good. It's amazing. Mmm. Mmm. You look like you're so hungry. I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hungry. It's so good, guys. I can't tell you how good it is. I'm not sure it's traditional Japanese. Maybe it's got some Brazilian infusion. But this is absolutely great. Absolutely five star, let's be clear, six star street food. Oh my gosh. I want some. Put it you're here. Gonna, you're going to love this. <laughs> you're going to try this. It's so good. All right. Let's keep going. Or you want to stay here? <laughs> Look at the amount of people, oh my gosh. Wow. I can't stop eating this, it's so good. Oh, the noodles are so good. <laughs> it looks good, it looks oh, so good. Oh, it's so good, good Ivana. Awesome. It's so good. Look at this, everyone's eating. I would guess. I would guess they're making the noodles. They could be store-bought noodles, but it just tastes so fresh and so light. Obviously, it's covered in sauce, put the Japanese sauce, so it's sort of heavy, but it still feels very light and sort of fresh. This we cost got some 20 real, which is pretty good, actually. Yeah. It's a big portion. Yeah. It's for two. It's, it's enough for two. <laughs> Very nice. Mm. Six star street food. Wow. All right, let's keep going. There's so much to do here. Yeah. Next up, we should check the um, souvenir shops. They got lots of cool stuff okay. over there. Let's, let's go. go. Lots of Japanese. Uh, goods and I think also Brazilian goods. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if yeah. it's Japzillion or Brapanese. Yeah. There must be a term, right? Brapanese. Like in, in Malaysia, they have Chinese and Indian, they have Chindian. Yeah, Chindian. There's got to be a, a, a combination Brapanese. of these words. Brapanese. Japanese and Brazilian. Brazilian and Japanese. Brapanese. Or, or Japzillion, Jap which is pretty good. Zillion. Both good options. Let us know in the comments your vote. <laughs> But I think the Japanese people here, they're very proud to be Brazilian now. Which I really love. Yeah. I really love that. That's yeah. a nice thing. Yeah. He says, my father was Japanese. I'm Brazilian. Right, 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 right. I love that. I absolutely <laughs> love that. Actually, pretty interesting that uh, that fellow said his father was the first generation immigrant. Because in the immigration museum, it was pretty clear that most of the Japanese immigrants came pre-World War II, mm, which right. means they're third or fourth generation by now, which is really interesting to imagine these two cultures blending because Japanese culture is so identifiable, so world That's famous, true. everybody knows bowing, everybody knows kimono, everybody knows samurai, and same with Brazilian culture. Everybody yeah. knows carnival. Yeah, true. So I have this image in my head of um, someone at carnival, full gear, feathers, and shining, and dancing carnival, <laughs> at the end of it, bowing and saying arigato. Wow, that would be right? so Right? Because cool. these two cultures are mixing. So you guys know me, the Immigration Museum, I absolutely recommend it. I really, really love it. Yeah. I always love museums, to be honest. 
Um, lots of good information in there. And now let's check out all of these beautiful souvenirs. This is an awesome day. They have bonsai trees. Oh, check this out, bonsai trees. So nice. So nice, no? So nice, man. Wow. Lots to do here, guys. Even it seems toys. like it seems like every weekend uh, in Sao Paulo, Saturday and Sunday, mm -hmm. there's a market, there's a festival, there's somewhere with action. So much to see and do. It's not it's not Japanese, but it's almost like Buddhist, no? Almost like Indian or a native. Uh, yeah, a whole bunch of different figurines. A Buddha here, some native things. I tell you what, being multinational like Brazil is, yeah. makes the culture so rich. That's true. So many different things to draw from. You yeah, know? I didn't know Brazil was so multicultural until my first day here. Because people were like talking to me in Portuguese and they thought I'm local. Listen guys, let's have a vote in the comments. <laughs> who, looks, who looks more local, me or Ivana? Is Ivana a Japanese Brazilian or am I a diehard Palmeiras fan. <laughs> Who looks more local like this? Be honest. I think it's me. We'll see. We'll vote in the comments. <laughs> Did you bring me here on purpose? <laughs> you got the Hello Kitty. I don't know what this Hello place is. Hello Kitty Cafe. What do they sell? It looks like they sell ice creams and Dessert burgers or actually. It's like a little tiny warum. Right, right. Would be the Indonesian word. Cool. Let's look at the strip though. Cafe. And I think anime is actually pretty popular here as well. You mean amongst the Japanese community or amongst the whole, maybe Brazil too? Amongst Brazilian, yeah. Let's get ice cream, man. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hello, Giri Cafe. Oh, finally. After like half an hour in there. <laughs> listen, listen. It's not the staff's fault. This place is seriously popular and the yeah. staff are doing a great job. By the way, oh my god. I got a taste of it. It's real strawberry. It's so good. It's like real strawberry sorbet. Looks good. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> and probably the most busy cafe I've ever been to. And also we saw a little girl's birthday party. So Come cute. on. What so could cute. be better than yeah. that? Yeah. Looking like a sixth or seventh birthday party <laughs> at the Hello Kitty Cafe. Mm -hmm. Shout out to them. Come on, this place is awesome. Hello Kitty Coffee. Selfie the Coffee. Selfie Coffee, which is like two doors down. Uh, and that was the greatest Plenty ever. Of, like really, really good sushi, authentic sushi restaurants around and ramen restaurants. And also street food sushi. Street food sushi. And everything else. Honestly. Noodles. Brazil is a great place for tourism in general, but it's super great for vlogging uh -huh. because every day, you can make a vlog every day. There's something going on, yeah. especially on the weekends. You got a little taste of Japan here. Sunday is Paulista Avenue, is amazing. Yeah. And Saturday is uh, Liberdaji. Yeah. This place is awesome. Uh, there you have it, guys. All right, thanks for watching our vlog. We had so much fun filming this one. Stay tuned. Please subscribe for lots more good stuff, including live streams once a week and four vlogs a week as Ivana counts it out. Later, everybody. How do you say goodbye in uh, oh. Portuguese? <laughs> ciao. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. I'm only going to say this once. This is a very good Hello Kitty ice cream. Right? Yeah, it's real strawberry. And it's not overly sweet. Almost tastes healthy. <laughs> it's like eating fruits. It's really good. Bye.